finding the genes that cause heart disease. Characteristics are passed on from one generation to the next in our genes. Genes are made of DNA. The DNA code is made of four building blocks, known as bases. These are adenine, thymine, cytosine and guanine, or A, T, C and G. Bases join together in pairs, known as base pairs. A always links to T and C to G. Our full DNA code has three billion base pairs. A mutation or fault is a change in your DNA that results in an abnormal gene. Some conditions are caused by a single faulty gene. For example, Marfan syndrome, which can cause aorta and heart problems. Most of these conditions are rare, but when you add them all up, they affect many people. An estimated 620,000 people in the UK carry an abnormal gene that can cause heart disease. The BHF is funding Dr Sanjay Sinha and his team to find out how the Marfan syndrome gene affects cells. They do this by comparing cells from people who do and don't have Marfan syndrome. Their work will help us understand how this rare condition affects people and could lead to new treatments. There are also more common genetic differences. For example, you might have an A in your DNA, where someone else has a G. These are called polymorphisms. Some of them are responsible for everyday differences between people, such as blood group or hair colour. Other polymorphisms are linked to disease. Individually, they don't cause a disease like a mutation can, but they can increase your risk. Another team of BHF researchers, led by Professor Sir Nilesh Samani, found one of the first common polymorphisms that can increase your risk of heart attack. We now know that there are more than 90 polymorphisms that increase your risk of heart attack. The more you carry, the higher your risk. You inherit polymorphisms from your parents in the same way you inherit faulty genes. We haven't found all the genes linked to heart disease. We need more research to find the rest and work out how they affect our risk of heart disease. This will help us to better identify who is at risk, reduce the risk and develop new treatments. Our researchers are working hard to make those discoveries and help save lives. You can help. Visit bhf.org.uk slash donate.